very, very much that for you. Um, first of all, I must apologise for my voice. I can't speak, project my voice very loud. I had a big operation last year. <coughs> and I just hope you, you will hear all right. I'll speak as clearly as I can. I can't speak any louder than this. Is that all right? Yeah. Firstly, a little bit about the book. It consists of poems written independently by Iateakli and by me, with each of us taking as our inspiration the five pillars of Islam. And we're doing it from an individual and a personal perspective. Iyad, as a Palestinian from Syria, living in Glasgow now for 12 years, and I, as a, I like to say, as a follower of Jesus, I'm touched by the church. <laughs> which is how the Gospel of Thomas is described. The five pillars are, um, in English, testimony, prayer, fasting, almsgiving, and pilgrimage. Well, I was struck by the fact that we have these same concepts in our culture as well. So Iod and I translated each other's poems and we each wrote introductions, and the book is entirely bilingual, everything is bilingual in it, in Arabic and English. So I think Luath were very courageous in publishing it, and it did take a lot of effort on their part. And the whole project has taken four years, so we're very pleased to be able to promote it and to share it with interested people now. It's a great privilege. We're going to read a selection of the poems in both languages, and if there is time for discussion, that would be nice, but I know there's a lot on tonight, perhaps later on. So, we're going to take one of each of the pillars, but not from each of us, if you see what I mean. So there'll be five poems read in two languages. I think we should just manage that. But first of all, Iyad's going to tell you what he thinks about the book before we start on the poems. Good evening, everybody. I'm Iyad Hayaki. I'm Palestinian, was born in a refugee camp in Damascus. In Syria. My village in Palestine was destroyed in 1948. It is exactly between Tiberius and Nazareth. It no longer exists. And I witnessed many exiles in my life. And this happened again to my family. Now, and this, at this very moment, they are under shells in the Yarmouk refugee camp in Damascus. I like to present my reading to them, especially to my mom. About this book, the only thing I want to say, this is this book is not about religion. This book about Tessa and myself how we see the life from the eyes of these aspects of Islam. And as Teza said, these aspects are uh, existing in Christianity as well. So Teza will read her uh, okay. first point. So I'm going to read my testimony poem in English. And he had to read his translation of it. Blessing, bliss, beauty, be attitude, belief, being, becoming, illumination, if even a speck on a manuscript will hold the hope line, the tenet. Forgiveness for those who hurt us, or manipulate us, or put obstacles in our way. They are not the ones we have hurt. Undeceived by glib offers or predictions. Daring to be serious. Fearing the worst. Facing it. Coherence. Co-inherence. Consistency, carefulness, children, climate, understanding, 
astounding with standing. Shahada Barakatun Naimun Jamalun Tatwibun Imanun Kununatun Tahawul Tanwirun Ruhei Hatta Walau Libukatin صغيرة جدا من مخطوطة سوف تدعم التمسك بشعاع الأمل مغفرة للذين يؤذوننا أو يتلاعبون بنا أو يضعون العقبات في طريقنا ونحن الذين لم نؤذهم من قبل ولم نخدعهم بالنبوءة العفوية الجرأة لنكون جادين وخائفين من الأسوأ مجابهين له التلاحم تضمن الإصرار الدقة الأطفال المناخ الوقوف تحت الإدهاش الجلد